Have you helped people find physically lost people? Yes, I have done that. With some success and some not success, because I need the cooperation of the families. And also, you know, I have skeptics like that whack job Susan that stalks me and posts about me, who says, oh, well, if, you know, psychics were real, then how come they don't find every missing person? Oh, it's been a long journey, you guys. It's just after midnight here in California. And I just hit 1,000 subscribers. And I am so just ecstatic over it. That's just something else, isn't it? Very, 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 very happy. Um, I had no idea I would, I would hit 1,000 subscribers. Um, especially so soon and you guys thank you so much so many of my friends have subscribed I know because I was really close and I I just really appreciate it and so many people out there who have been supporting me since the beginning back uh, the first time I well, I launched the web uh, YouTube channel is March 6th 2023 and some early subscribers some people who have um, really made a lot of comments through the last six months, 15 days. And I don't know how many minutes because I don't keep track. But um, thank you guys for your support and all your comments and all your suggestions and all the help you've done. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about YouTube. I watched tons of videos, how to make a thumbnail, how to do this, how to do that. <clears throat> no, I have not bought a sophisticated microphone, um, <laughs> at least not yet. And um, lots of people to thank, but, uh, you know, Thomas Westbrook from the Holy Kool-Aid YouTube channel, which is really powerful, um, that did an interview with myself and Mark Edward right after we did Operation Pizza Roll. So if you haven't checked that out, you guys got to see it. It's got like six hundred thousand million views or something by now and um he zoomed with me and went through all my stats on i showed him all the stats and when i was about three months in he explained all the all the buttons and the numbers and all that kind of stuff it was really nice of him very nice of him to spend about an hour to go over that with me i'm not normally uh somebody who does things like this but you know it's a new it's a new world so i wanted to share with you a few things and and then when i'm all done i want to sh i want to show you two really quick little videos that thomas john made that i think says it all okay so it's not all about thomas john but i i have some really interesting information i i don't know if you like numbers I like numbers. I like statistics a lot. I um, really enjoy statistics. So um, some of the things I've learned, I have a new appreciation for YouTube. I have a new appreciation for uh, those people that I've subscribed to, to always hit like, comments, share, subscribe. All those kinds of things really help out people that you support. Was, I mean, if you don't want to support them financially, with a Patreon or something like that, which I'm not doing, or at least not anytime soon. But, um, you know, help these people out, especially anybody who's getting close to a thousand subscribers. You guys really, really help. That It's it's such a big deal because that's the first area that is really like a big deal um, on YouTube. Once you hit a thousand subscribers, lots of things happen. I mean, if you've done the work in the background to make them happen. But, here's some things I wanted you to know. Okay. So, um, YouTube gives you a zillion stats. I mean, you could look at traffic sources, geography, the cities, viewer age, viewer gender, all kinds of stuff. There's so many stats. It's really kind of fun to look at all your stats and it, it, if you interpret it and really look into why these numbers, if you get something that's a little unusual, I think it really tells you a lot. For example, one, my number one video has 84,019 views, which is like insane. 
<laughs> really. Um, and um, I'll explain why that is because I figured that out. It took me a little bit, but the second video I have is 59,027 views. Most of my viewers are from the United States, which doesn't surprise me at all. But um, the number two with Okay, so the United States has 35% of my viewers are from the United States. Hey, everybody. Make sure you vote, right? Okay, the second most of my viewers is coming from the UK. And the third most is a place you probably wouldn't, you probably would be surprised to hear about. 11% is coming from the Philippines. So, mahal kithal, everybody in the Philippines who's watching me now. Um, appreciate your views. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and telling me what is it that's sending you from the Philippines because that's amazing. Never been. Um, I would love to visit you there. And please give me some feedback. I suspect what's going on, and I'll tell you in a second, Canada is 7% and Australia 6%. I will be in Australia and New Zealand in a couple of months. So um, come, come, come to one of my talks. Come meet me. The uh, majority of the people who view my videos are female, 61%. So, hey, ladies. Um, I think I understand why, because mediumship is almost completely um, a crime against women. And most people who, who do any kind of whatever you want to call debunking or explaining about psychics or try to do a psychic sting or anything like that are male, which is really odd because this is a crime on women. And it's, I think that women need to uh, take, take care of this problem. The majority of the people who are viewing this channel are 25 to 34 years old. And the second biggest group, which is very close, is 35 to 44. And the really interesting things, um, and beyond all the other things that are interesting, is that 80% of the people who are watching this channel are watching it because you did a YouTube search. And you're searching for something on YouTube. 80%. So coming from um, something, the second most reason why you're coming to you to watch my videos um, are external reasons. And that's only 6%. And that's mainly Facebook. Some from um, Skeptical Inquire, some from my website, but mostly you're coming to this channel because you did a search on YouTube. So to me, and you found one of the videos. But to me, what that's saying is you are a unique viewer, somebody who absolutely was not looking for this channel. You weren't looking for this content. You were looking for something to do with psychics. And you found this channel. And I really appreciate you guys are here. I really do. Um, this is what I my goal was, is to reach an audience that was different from the skeptic community. And I think that I've found a lot of you here and I really appreciate that. Um, I have 92 videos up now. This is 93 now and I have a lot more planned. I love comments and I try to respond to all my comments. I rarely delete comments. Um, it has to be kind of bad to delete a comment and sometimes I'm snarky. Um, sorry. Sometimes uh, if you ask me comments that are like asking questions, I will go to great lengths to explain. Um, if you're just being snarky and you want to call me bad names or talk about my hair or whatever, you know, I mean, who has the time for that? I mean, why are you even wasting your time leaving me a comment? I know. <laughs> um, let's see. So I think that was what I wanted to show you or tell you. Very interesting. And um, I don't see it right at the second, but I was looking to see where, how many actual hours of views that I have, because on 
on uh, YouTube, you have to hit a thousand subs subscriptions to have anything really happen. And you have to have 4,000 watch hours. So that means 4,000 hours watched. And I hit 4,000 watch hours within three months. So that really set a high message to me that this is obviously something that people are interested in. I'm over 8,000. I'm just trying to find where it is, but some things have changed now that I've hit a thousand subscribers. It looks like some things have moved around on my channel that I hadn't, um, that are in different places than they were before. So I guess um, I will have to look at that. But it was, I think I'm close to 9,000 watch hours in six months and 15 days. That's really a lot. People must be looking. Um, okay, so... I told you I was going to show you something really interesting. And this is what I want to show you. And, and bear with me. What I'm about to show you is a page view analysis. Because, you know, like I said, I like statistics. And I think they tell an interesting story when you find something kind of unusual going on. And in the world, some of you guys know out there that I run a Wikipedia editing team. I have some amazing people who work for me. We work on tons of pages of topics, mostly science and pseudoscience related. We've created over 2,000 pages and 45% of the work we do is in languages outside of English. So, so there. So Wikipedia is one of the best places to, to, to gauge popularity of a term or I guess a person would make sense. Um, I know there's Google analytics and things like that, but when you have somebody who has a name like Thomas John, it's very hard to get a good Google analysis of the person you're talking about who's the psychic and not some other term. But on Wikipedia, um, there's this tool, well, it's not on Wikipedia, but it's a, a tool that is using Wikipedia to see page views. How many times is a Wikipedia page accessed? You know, we don't know if they're staying on the page and reading the whole thing or, you know, if they're a repeat viewer. Um, but we do know how many times a Wikipedia page is accessed. And when you look at the statistics of that, it tells a lot of things. It tells you how how outside of their website or their YouTube channel or their um, Facebook page or whatever, social media, you know, of course they're getting a lot of views, but how do you measure thing? Well, we don't have access to, you know, how many, how many times their Facebook pages hit. I mean, you can see followers and stuff like that, but how many times um, are people looking for some information about somebody like where did they go to school how old are they are they married do they have children what is their education what um who is this person that i've heard of but i don't know much about them so what happens is people will either do a, a internet search and one of the first searches you get one of the first things you hits you get is going to be a wikipedia page wikipedia is extremely powerful it is just a just a just amazing how many people visit a Wikipedia page. So some people will click on that link and then they'll be on the Wikipedia page. Or people will go directly to Wikipedia and type in the name of whatever it is they're looking at. Or they'll go into Wikipedia for whatever reason and they'll be reading something and then they'll hit a like one of those blue hyperlinks, click on that, and then they'll be on a page that maybe they weren't intending to go to, but it just looked interesting from the page that they were, like a referral from, you know, um, like leaving breadcrumbs. And I, I find that fascinating. Anyway, so Wikipedia is kind of a judge of popularity, for a better word. Now, I'm going to show you this page view analysis. If you know me on social media, you've seen this before. Uh, I really love this tool. And what I'm going to do is I put in here Thomas John Medium. So this is, means that they're definitely visiting the Thomas John Medium page. And the reason why I'm focusing on Thomas John, I mean, I've been focusing on different psychics over the years, but Thomas John is very unusual because he hot reads all the time. And when somebody hot reads, then you have, it's, it's, it's easier to catch them. 
whereas cold reading is kind of vague. It takes, it, it's a different kind of world to, to um, catch somebody cold reading because cold reading is like normal life. The hot reading is specific. So what you can see here is that in the last 20, 20 days, so let me explain this to you. Thomas John's Wikipedia page has been accessed 110 times on the, well, this might be 24 hours off because of the way they grab the statistics up into the 220 times. So that's not very many, 3000 times. When you think, when you consider somebody like Thomas John is supposedly communicating with the dead, which would be like the most powerful person in the world, I think 3000 page views is pretty mild compared to, you know, normal. I mean, let's just, for giggles, let's put in uh, Lady Gaga, just, just to see what is the comparison between Thomas John and Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, she's got a high of um, 15,000 views in one day. In the same day, Thomas John got 128. So, I mean, that's not fair. They're not on the same, same um, path, but, you know, they're it's just interesting but here's what i wanted to show you um i'm going to go over here to this year and look at the stats for thomas john this year so this is 2023 and this tells a story so you look at this and you go okay he's got a hundred views 50 views 60 views and then oh my god look at this he's getting 1600 page views in a day and and I mean, that's still not as many as something like Grumpy Cat probably gets more than this. But you can see, look at this spike and look at this world. So starting about March of 2023, something happened and Thomas John's numbers just went like nuts. And then over time, it started to come down. And then you can see it's coming back up here again. Okay, so what happened? is coincidentally, and it is a coincidence, my friend Kathy told me, maybe you should start a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, well, I came home and I started a YouTube channel back in March. We had we had lunch together and we were talking about it. And it's a total coincidence, believe it or not, that I started my YouTube channel on March 6th. So right here, Thomas John was getting 100 page views and then it went nuts. And I was trying to do videos on much more broad topics as far as psychics explaining things. But what was started happening is the videos that I was making about Thomas John, especially Seatbelt Psychic, his TV show, were starting to get major views on my YouTube channel. And I thought, well, what the heck is this? Am I going to, is this going to be normal? Um, and what I discovered is that on TikTok, you know, that, that other website that has got a lot of viral videos. He, um, his show, TikTok, um, his show, TikTok, his show, Seatbelt Psychic, was going flipping nuts. I mean, getting millions of views and people were putting up uh, clips and they were uh, just little clips from the show, from the TV show. And, um, not just him sharing it, but lots of people were sharing the videos and they were making comments on it. They were like, somebody put up a video and it'd be under, under a minute long and they would say, check this out. This is amazing. And then other people put this, put a TikTok video up and they'd say, check this out. This guy's been busted, you know, different things like that. But the videos went flipping nuts. And we found that Thomas John, even over time, was like, reaching out to people and saying, would you, would you uh, do a reading with me? People had these massive followings, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers on TikTok. One woman we sat, found, she does tarot readings. She was like, oh my gosh, Thomas John, the famous Thomas John wants to do a video with me. And you're like, well, cause he was after your audience, right? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so what I think happened, and I don't know this for sure. Now, this is tying everything back up into a bow. All the statistics I was telling you, I think what's going on 
is that um, sometimes TV shows, they reappear in places like other areas, other countries, and they get like a new life. So Seatbelt Psychic was from 2017, 2018, I think. And they, you know, it's after midnight for me. And I usually stay up late, but this is requiring thinking. <laughs> so forgive me if I mess up a num some of my numbers. So I think what happened, and I would love anybody from the Philippines to tell me if this is true, that seatbelt psychic started showing in the Philippines. And it got people really like, what is this? This looks really good. I mean, the, the, the show is silly. But uh, the filming values are really good. It's done well. It's it's crafted and filmed well, edited well. Music's good. It's a nice, attractive show. Gets people crying and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't know what you're looking at and it's the first time seeing it, I could see being intrigued, finding that show for the first time. And I think that they're finding these videos on TikTok. And when they found them on TikTok, they said, hmm, I'd like to see a longer version of this video that I just watched. And they're going to YouTube because you can get a longer version on, on uh, YouTube. And they're typing in Seatbelt Psychic, full version or long version or something like that. And they're finding my videos because the videos that I have that are going 80,000, 84,000, 50 something thousand views are seatbelt psychic videos that I created in March, not knowing that this whole phenomenon was going to happen. So I think it was just um, interesting how that happened, you know, that that all of a sudden he was going nuts on, on um, TikTok, his show. And at lunch, my friend Kathy said, hey, you should start a YouTube channel that talks about psychics you can explain this better you know because I write about them and it would be and I do talks on them but it would be really interesting if you did videos and show the videos I'm like oh, okay that's a good idea and boom this thing just went crazy so I think that's what happens fascinating isn't it so let me show you some other stuff because I think these stats are really cool and hopefully you're still paying attention you know, if you're not subscribed already, please, please subscribe to the channel and please leave me all the comments that you can think of that you'd like me to answer. So going back to this, you can put other names in there, but when you put a name in there, it has to be exactly um, what the Wikipedia page is called. So I thought we'd put somebody else in here like Matt Brazier who's another psychic that has a Wikipedia page. Of course, it's only people have Wikipedia page and you can look at his stats. So Matt Frazier has been doing a ton of videos lately where he is, um, you know, he had one season for his TV show, Meet the Frasers. And then now he's going, he's, he's traveling all over the place. And oh my gosh, his schedule is crazy. He's like in a city one day and then he's like way over on the other side a state the next day for another show and then he's just everywhere just constantly flying around it must be horrible i mean it's very profitable but it must be horrible and he's putting out these videos i get these videos on my um, on my in my inbox often you know he's doing these videos over zoom with people and he's got this setup at his house it's really pretty with candles and stuff like that and it, it just like really I don't know. For somebody who's supposed to be speaking to the dead, it seems pretty lame to me. But you can see he's never really achieved much fame, at least in the last year. You could look at this. His height um, is Matt Frazier's The Green on the screen. So here he is at the height. He's getting 400 page views. That's like his height. 359. And then you can see here how Thomas John has fared. He was doing almost nothing. I think this is when maybe when Meet the Frasers was, oh, I don't quite know. And then here he's got the spike for Thomas John and then down into the numbers where they're just about the same. And you can see this other spike up here for, for Thomas John. So it's fascinating that Matt Frasers just kind of stayed the same. Let's see if we look one year 
beyond. Um, so if I change this to a two, so this is the last two years, you can see that Matt Frazier was way up there in the views compared to Thomas John. Way, um, you know, 400 views, um, double the views that Thomas John had until until this TikTok thing hit. Let's try one more year back and see if it makes a difference. Okay, so this is for three years. And Thomas John was getting zero because he didn't have a Wikipedia page for a very long time. But Matt Frazier has got, um, you know, he still never really, never really hit it big. And this tells you that. I mean, his height of his popularity he has 800 page views um, on a day, whatever that is. It's not. It's not reading it for some reason. But anyway, so that's the height of Matt Frazier's fame, which is really quite embarrassing if you have a TV show and you can communicate with the dead. Now let's put let's put Teresa Caputo in here. She's kind of seen her her, you know, she's super famous, but she's really kind of over now. People are kind of done with her. And you can see here she's in the red. Here's 4,000 page views. And then it gets to 3,000 page views and then just kind of, you know, just normal. She's she's obviously more famous than the other two. Um, but let's put Sylvia Brown. She's dead. And she's been dead for a very long time. But look what happens. She, you, you can't even... In comparison, here's everybody else, and here she is up here. And she had some major spike of 100,000 page views back in January of 2021. I think that's whenever that rumor came out that she had predicted COVID. That's what I think happened. And then people like Ben Radford um, did an investigation on it, and, and it was discovered that no, she didn't predict in one of her books that COVID was real, that she didn't predict COVID is what I'm saying. Uh, that didn't turn out to be true. So um, <laughs> I think that's what happens. See what I'm saying? When somebody, when somebody is in the news or something happens, people get curious and they go, Ooh, Sylvia Brown, is she still alive? How old was she when she died? What, you know, did she have any kids or what, you know, kind of, you know, they want to know something about her and they go to the Wikipedia page and they end up spiking. Not everybody who hits, um, not everybody who reads an article about Sylvie Brown turns around and goes to Wikipedia, but enough do that you can see the spike. This is the, the rule of large numbers. So I find that really interesting, but she still uh, excels over all these other two and let me show you to prove that let's take out that big number and this is the last uh from 2022 to 2023 so to all of 22 and most of 2023 and you can see the sylvia brown is um down here it says she has a daily average of 488 uh, thomas john has an average of 133 views a day and um in this time period Teresa Caputo has more views than Sylvia Brown. Um, but Thomas John has got a measly 83,000. So that's like nothing. I mean, I have no idea, but let's put in Grumpy Cat. Who was a meme and is now like over. But you can see Grumpy Cat out cases even Teresa Caputo for the last year and a half I mean that kind of gives you some idea of what <laughs> fame right so grumpy cat has um, an average of 663 page views a day compared to Teresa Caputo Sylvia Brown Matt Frazier and so on I mean she, she grumpy cat probably equals Thomas John plus Matt Frazier plus Sylvia Brown's views um just by itself in that year and a half time. So it kind of gives you some kind of perspective on um, on the fame of these people. Um, just out of curiosity, should I put in somebody like Neil deGrasse Tyson or Bill Nye? Let's put in Bill Nye. I don't know why. Let's just put Bill Nye, not the science guy, but Bill Nye. And Bill Nye 
as some major spikes in June of 2022. And he's outpaces even Grumpy Cat. Look at that. 1,447,000 1, um, page views. An average of 2,309. Um, so that shows you fame. It shows you how people are interested. So let's just go back to this year, 2023. So far, and you can see. Here's here's uh, Bill Nye. Far exceeds all these others. Matt Frazier is now taking the low boat for the last uh, 2023, as of this recording. Thomas John is 63, and you can see these numbers. And, and just it just fascinates me. You know, we get stuck, the, the skeptic community, at least people like myself, who's really into psychics. And it feels like everybody and, and their brother knows um, all about the psychic world and, and who's this and who's that. But really, they're they're low potatoes. They're they're not that important. They're just in. They do a lot of harm. Yes, I find them fascinating. Um, the methods of the psychic mediums and the and then the the gymnastics that people do to believe in in the psychics, uh, these grief vampires. But we forget putting in perspective that they're really nobody's in the big scheme of things. I mean, even Grumpy Cat kicks their ass. And Grumpy Cat hasn't been on the internet for years. So, I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I'm piddly squat in, 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 with nobody in this. So, I, I don't have <laughs> I don't have comp I'm not competitive at all for anybody to Think that I'm trying to get views for me personally. I I'd love that Bill Nye is getting such great views. That's I didn't know what I was going to get when I put that in there. So you saw me do that live just just to do it. So anyway, um, I want to thank you guys all again. Um, I don't. Oh, I'm at a thousand and one, one thousand and one subscribers. That's really cool. I don't know what to expect. I will start being able to make money. But uh, from what I understand, I'll, I'll be making like a dollar a day or something. <laughs> and then they got to take all the taxes and all the, the fees out of it. So, you know, I might be able to buy some milk duds. Um, you know, that's the, the idea is just to get the channel out there to reach more people who will be able to um, benefit. And please send me... Um, videos audio or video that you'd like me to look at i have a lot of playlists of, of people i've already looked at so if you ask hey can you look into so and so check to see i might have already done that and um i would love to hear your videos and your audio that you have had of readings i'd love to listen to them it'd be even better if i could interview about them but, um, you know, I can do it so that you're not um, revealed who you are if you really don't want to be known. I'm really good at at um, keeping stuff private. I mean, of course, the readings would be public, but keeping the other stuff. Um, it, it, it's fascinating to, to hear some of these readings and even more fascinating to hear it and then hear your thoughts. What were you thinking? And what were, what, you know, were you, do you feel like you're giving feedback? Um, just all that kind of information. Um, you know, send it to me. My email is Susan Gerbic. You can see my name here on the screen at um, gmail.com. You can reach out to me on Facebook Messenger if you want. I'm, I'm fine with that. And, or you can leave just comments in the chat under uh, the videos and i'll be happy to look at those there so wow um i i i can't believe i'll get to 2000 views um subscribers but i suppose that's possible 2001 would be kind of cool it's a really cool number <laughs> 2001 but um i'm happy to have hit a thousand and i really appreciate you all um thank you so much 
continue to watch the videos and support the channel. We are educating people. I know it. And if you read the comments, you will see that people are getting a lot of information and not falling for this, this, uh, their tricks because they find these videos and they go, Oh, and people say that all the time. Well, they might not say, Oh, but they will, <laughs> they'll tell me I've found the videos on TikTok for Seagull Psychic. And now I understand how it's done. Or they'll say, you know, I always thought Matt Fraser was this big deal. And now I kind of get what he's doing. Or, oh my gosh, I had no idea that, that John Edward was like that. Or, you know, you know, thanks for breaking it down. And now I understand. So thank you guys for being you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll think about upgrading to a better microphone. I've had a cold for the last few days, so... I probably sound like not so great anyway, but, oh, I'm going to show you two videos. Thomas John's going to leave. We're going to go out on a, on a, um, Thomas John thing. So these are for you. I have played them on other videos before, so you might not have heard them for the first time, but, um, let me let, let you, uh, hear what he thinks about mediumship. I don't know because I've never gone and, you know, tried to find out stuff about somebody. So I don't really know. But, you know, I imagine that there's things out there like, you know, people's names or I don't know. There's probably stuff I guess you could find out about people. But, you know, I mean, no legitimate medium would ever do that. Exactly right. No legitimate medium would ever do that. He's talking about looking up people's information on the Internet. Hot reading, which oh. I've caught him doing so many yeah, times. And let's let him end with this final little bit here. Let him have the last word. Um, and like I said, there's just something where you kind of can just know if somebody is legitimate, you know. Um, it's a feeling that you get. It's, it's just a sense that you get, you know. So